Then Jesus asked Peter for, for a third time. He says, Simon, son of John, do you love me? The, the third time, however, when Jesus asked him, do you love me? He didn't say, do you, do you love me unconditionally? But rather he says, Simon, son of John, do you love me as a friend? Verse 17 tells us that, that Peter's hurt because Jesus asked him this question a, a third time. God, I, I don't think it's that he's hurt just because he asked him a third time, but I think one of the things that hurt was the fact that Jesus changed the word from do you love me agape, do you love me unconditionally, to do you love me as a friend. Even though that's what Peter had, had responded or how he had responded each time to, to Jesus' question, I believe that, that as Jesus asked him, do you love me as a friend, you know, it was an issue that, that Peter felt the, the guilt and the shame of, of the way that, that he, had, he had denied his friend, the way he had denied his, his Savior. Peter, the, the disciple who, who was called to, to follow Jesus first. Peter, the, the disciple who had stepped out of the boat and began to, to, to walk on the water. Peter, the, the disciple who was a part of, of Jesus' inner circle. Peter, the rock was struggling because he had fallen down. And now how is it that he's going to get back up? When Jesus asked Peter, do you love me as a friend? I wanted the Greek text to, to say that Peter's answer was, you know that I love you unconditionally. But, but he doesn't. The third time Peter responds, Lord, you know that I love you as a friend. Peter continues to give the only answer that he can give honestly. And that is, that of a friend. I want you to notice one more thing in, in this passage. And that is, even though Peter was hurting, even though Peter was tentative, even though Peter was broken, Jesus knew that he was talking to the right man. And after each one of, of Peter's responses, you know that I love you as a friend. First, Jesus responded by saying, feed my lambs. He said, help the, those babes in the faith to grow and their knowledge and, and understanding of me. The second time he, he said to them, take care of my sheep. Look after the, the believers. Help them to, to, to stay strong. Help them to, to, to keep from being devoured and, and taken in by the ways of this world. And, and the third time he says to Peter, feed my sheep. Help the other believers grow. Jesus knew that, that Peter was the man for the job. Jesus knew that, that Peter was the, the rock, the foundation on which his church would, would be built. You know, if you're sitting here this morning and, and feel that, that you've blown it, don't give up. Because our God is a, is a God of the second chance. He meets us at our point of brokenness. He meets us at our, our point of, of failure. As I read this story of, of Peter, I see Peter making a a recommitment. He, he's recommitting his, his life to, to follow Jesus. He's, he's still pained by what he's done, but in the midst of his pain, Jesus is helping him to, to stand back up again. A saint is just a sinner who falls down and gets back up. You know, if you've never given your your life to Christ. He asks you a question. Do you love me? Do you love me? Are, are you willing to, to serve me? Are, are you willing to, to be my disciple? But as we reach out to him and, and vow to, to be one of his, his followers, he, he tells us that he'll, he'll give us peace. He promises that he'll send his Holy Spirit to, to help and, and lead us and, and guide us. You know, this morning, if, you, if you've never responded to, to Jesus' question, do you love me? I would invite you to reach out to him and this morning and say, Lord, yes, I love you and, and I want to be your, your disciple. Maybe you've been a, a believer. Maybe you've been a, a follower for, for some time. But, but like Peter, you, you recognize that you're not the place that he, he wants you to be. Maybe you recognize that, that you've fallen and, and skinned your knees. 
but it's time to, to get back up. All you need to do is call on Him. Confess your desire to, uh, to come back, to, to return, to, to get in a closer relationship with, with Him once again. He'll help you to get up. And He'll welcome you back. A saint is just a sinner who falls down and gets back up. Let us pray. Lord, as we come to you today, we we must confess that we are more like Peter than than we would like to be in in those times when when we fall down. Lord, when, when we fall down, Help us not to stay there, but help us to to get back up. Help us to confess our sin. Help us to confess our need. And to reconnect with you once again. Lord, may you help us to to live and and walk as, as your faithful disciples. Through Christ our Lord we pray.